your service year program. This was top of the agenda when, when you took office. It's happened. It's enrolling people. Where do we stand? Who, who should get involved? Everybody. <laughs> we're proud. I and mean, we're proud of the fact that we, we, we campaigned on this. We talked about this right here. And, uh, and we got it. And people said, well, it's going to be difficult to get done. Yes. And we got it done in our first three months. Right? Maryland is now the first state in this country to offer a service year option to our high school graduates. It's now the first state in this country to have the service year option coupled with Maryland Corps, where we're giving other, where we're giving people who are not necessarily high school graduates who are more, more seasoned in their career, but giving them an opportunity to now serve and have a year of service to the state of Maryland. This is a really big deal. And it's a really big deal both because I believe in experiential learning, giving people a platform to understand what makes their heart beat a little bit faster and give them a chance to do it. I believe in giving people an earned financial cushion and give them an earned benefit for the work that they do. And we believe deeply that in this time of political divisiveness and political vitriol, that service will save us, that we've got to be a state that gets to know each other again. And so I would encourage people to, to, uh, to, to sign up, to join. We've been, we've been overwhelmed by the support that we've already gotten from both Maryland Corps and the service year option. We're going to have people starting soon with our first inaugural class. But this is something that's not just going to happen for one year. This is going to help change and shape the trajectory for our state. And I can guarantee you while Maryland is the first state to get this done, it will not be the last.